We're out here comparing the 16F with the V12. We're gonna compare in three criteria. The first criteria is the speed. We're gonna do a lap from the start line over there to the finish line over there. Second thing is we're gonna take it to that hill. We're gonna climb with both these wheels, see how the safety is, see which one has the better torque. And the last thing is we're gonna compare the speakers, which one is louder and which one has the better audio quality. We're gonna do the speed test now. We have the drone up. We have the drone up and this is our starting line. Our finish line, we also planted a camera back down there. We're gonna do three runs each. So three runs with the V12 and three runs with the 16X. And we're also gonna keep track of the data on the, uh, on the phone as well. Okay. Okay, on the V12, the limit is set to 51 kilometers an hour. And uh, we're gonna see which one is the faster wheel. Okay, ma. Three, three, two, one, go. Small pedal dip there. Quite heavy wind today. There is probably wind pushing me along as well. Second try. Three, two, one, go. All right, forgot to put on my gloves. So third try, third try, and uh, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Fourth, fourth attempt. Three, two, one, go. Lean, 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 lean. So I do feel that this wheel is harder to push beyond 50. I think uh, given what the other influencers have told me, it's just the way they've programmed the firmware. You can't get it up to close to 70, but it's gonna be hard. It's not gonna be easy. Okay, now with the 16X. Three, two, one, go. Lean, lean, lean. Oh. Okay, that's attempt one. Second attempt. Three, two, one, go. Feel like I could have done better. Goal is to make it say over voltage or whatever. Be careful. All right, third attempt. Third attempt. Three, two, one, go. Please decelerate. There we go. Please decelerate. Okay. Last attempt. Last attempt. Fourth attempt. Three, two, one, go. Lean, 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 lean. Please decelerate. I'm recording this video whilst I haven't seen the exact times of the 16X versus the Emotion V12, but off of that ride experience, I felt it was a lot safer to push towards that 50. Um, obviously, there was a bigger safety margin with the V12, knowing that it can go up to somewhere close to 70 kilometers an hour, where on the 16X, it um, the cutout limit is somewhere close to the early 50-ish, so 52, 53, something like that. So uh, obviously, uh, didn't feel quite as safe but in terms of speed and accelerating doing that sprint it really all felt pretty similar i wouldn't say one is faster than the other um despite what you may see on the screen because i haven't exactly seen uh which one is faster according to the video but really it felt pretty much the same it, i wasn't blown away by either one of them they both felt fairly quick 
So we're back out on this hill. I apologize for the sound of the generator in the background. Uh, we're back on this hill. We're going to do a few tests up the hill. We've actually been to this hill a few times already, uh, but unfortunately it was way too slippery. It's been raining, but it hasn't rained all day today. We're going to attempt it. Lowered the PSI already on the V12. We're going to attempt it with the 16X later as well. And I'm tracking it with the Inmotion app as well, so you guys can see the, uh, the max power and the MOS temperature. Because I know some of you guys requested that. So let's do a couple of climbs, three or four times, up the hill with the V12 now. Let's go. Way too fucking slippery. Okay. But nice to know that it made it up the hill. Let's do two more times. Okay, okay. So the wheel, the wheel just shut off. It said overload, and then now it won't turn on. So let's uh, let's take it down. Okay, it might it might turn on later. Uh, fingers crossed, but you can see it's not turning on. You can see that it's not reacting at all. So that was the second time. But uh, to be fair, we've, we've attempted this hill actually a few times. I think a total of, I think a total of maybe 10 to 12 times now. And for some reason today on the second attempt, it's, uh, it's burnt out. So yeah, that's, that's quite unfortunate. Let's try with the 16X. All right, let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk down because it's way too, way too slippery. <laughs> well, you know, you can always slide down as, as well, I guess. That's, that's the type of terrain we're dealing with here. Damn, just rubbed my ass all against that grass. Alright, second attempt.
think uh, I think that's a pretty good statement for for King Song. Uh, ten times up this hill and no issue. Uh, as I got around five or six times, six or seven times, I started to hear more beeps as I was about 70% up the hill, uh, telling me that you know it's getting close to its limits, but still kept climbing up to ten times now, and no no issue with the 16 apps. Uh, so we just finished the speed test with the 16X and the V12. They felt fairly much the same. I felt much safer on the uh, V12 obviously because there was a bigger safety margin. We're now going to compare the speakers. We're underneath the bridge and uh, we're going to see which one is louder, which one has the better audio quality. And so yeah, we're going to play some copyright free music. So the 16X first. <laughs> try with the uh, B12. audio quality the 16x just still sounds better uh, better bass better audio quality and it's also louder as well uh, the v12 is not bad but just not as good as the 16x that day was our third or fourth attempt going up that hill with the v12 uh, we had made it quite a few times where we made a few attempts up that hill with the v12 uh, no issues it obviously didn't climb up because um, the grass over the past few days has just been extremely wet due to the rain. Uh, same with the 16X. So we decided to come back that day and for some reason on the second try, as you saw, it burnt out. Um, with the permission of free motion as well as uh, in motion, um, we opened up the wheel to find out what exactly happened. Now, uh, I was told by Mickey I was told by Mickey to try to plug in the charger. We did that. We also tried to disconnect and reconnect the batteries. That also didn't help. Um, so we had to do a full uh, disassembly. And you'll see in the pictures here that uh, what happened was, well, first off, the motor cable was not fully plugged in one of them. You can see that if it's all uh, fully plugged in, it would be the same length. But because whatever happened at QC, one of the cables were further back. Now, I'm not saying that that's the reason as to why that wheel didn't make it up the hill, but that's something we noticed um, when we opened it up. And then we also saw that a small fuse had broken off uh, as well. It's just a very small chip. I was told that it was a fuse. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it broke off and yeah, the wheel basically just won't turn on. The wheel will be sent back to InMotion they are looking into the matter. They're very, they're taking it very seriously. They're going to be looking at what happened to their QC, what happened to their QC, and uh, obviously this is a first production V12. So keep that in mind. Uh, so uh, this will will be sent back to InMotion, like I said, and they are going to do a full analysis on what happened. Um, it's really good to hear that a company like InMotion is really dedicated to their after sales and creating a good product and a responsible product for, for riders worldwide. But I trust that InMotion is going to devote the time to figure out what's going on, make sure that this wheel does not burn out, and make sure that they step up their QC, and ensure that for you guys who have the later pre production models, you're not going to face any of these issues. So that's really, that's really good to hear from InMotion. In